liberal viewer present. So I knew Fox News would try to find some way to blame liberals for the scandalous conditions at Walter Reed Medical Center, or more specifically for the very poor conditions in some of the outpatient living facilities provided by the Army to soldiers undergoing treatment not requiring hospitalization. So I was not surprised last week to hear Fred Barnes, executive editor of the neoconservative magazine The Weekly Standard, on Fox News, talking about Walter Reed trying to make this claim. Now these members of Congress are saying, you know, it's not just Walter Reed, it may be the whole military system. Well, no kidding. This is what, this is what so many of these liberals want to give the rest of America. Well, wait this a second, kind of wait a second. It's hard to... Now, wait a second. Liberal government health care gets a lot of unfair blame, but blaming this Walter Reed scandal on liberal government health care is more than unfair. It's a dishonest depiction of the facts. In fact... You can see Washington Post reporter Dana Milbank in a discussion with Bill Maher on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher, revealing that this scandal is more about privatization than about government health care. Just watch this clip. Because this Walter Reed thing is bad because they privatize it, because they outsourced it to corporations which have no soul, which only care about the bottom line, which only care about greed. At least government workers might have a conscience. Corporations never do. Well, it's actually slightly worse than that. They contracted it out to uh, a corporation that was actually going to do it, going to cost the government more money than the government workers were willing to do it for in the first place. And it, so privatization is more a culprit in this scandal than liberal government health care. But the real culprit for those paying attention is Iraq. Now, some of Iraq's blame in the Walter Reed scandal actually comes from one of the few pieces of good news from Iraq as explained by New York Times conservative columnist David Brooks, appearing on PBS's NewsHour with Jim Lehrer in this clip. One of the good things that's happened in this war, people, if you survive the first couple minutes after something happens to you in Iraq, apparently you generally survive. But, so we have met fewer deaths, but more injuries. And because we're actually so good at battlefield medicine, we have these more injuries that are overbearing the system. But despite that piece of good news, as former U.S. Marine Mark Shields pointed out on that same PBS program, bad news from Iraq and bad Bush policies are even more responsible for the problems revealed in the Walter Reed scandal. As Shields explained, In the past, many of these people would have just been discharged. But they can't discharge them because they don't have enough troops. It's that simple. They, they don't have enough troops. They're having trouble, Jim, right now. They're having waivers on criminal records on academic non-achievement to get people into the military, they had to keep these people in the military. I mean, that's one of, the, in addition to the, the bureaucratic maze that Davis described and, and incompetence, there was an imperative here to keep people in uniform, not to let them return to civilian life. That's an amazing statement about where we are as people. This, General Whiteman put it very bluntly. He said, this is the longest war we have fought in this country without a draft. So what do you think? Are the problems at Walter Reed more the fault of liberal government health care or more the fault of bad news and bad Bush policies in Iraq? And on the media analysis question, should a comedy program on HBO really be providing more accurate information than a news program on Fox News? I, YouTube, you decide.